I have had the biggest epiphany and I feel like such an idiot for not having it sooner. <laughs> mouse traps. So basically, to give my full mouse trap history, because I know everyone's dying to know. When I was 21, I moved to London and I was living in a little room on my own and I had a very bad mouse problem. It got to the point where I would lay there at night and I could hear them all scurrying like all into my bed, all over the floor, like all around the skirting boards. And then sometimes I would sort of half awake, half asleep, I would feel them running over my duvet and like in the bed with me, it was bad. So I, being the 21 year old adult I was, rang my mom and was like, oh my God, what do I do? And she was like, oh, just put down mouse traps. It's not a big deal. I never really thought about it at all. I ended up getting the spring loaded ones and I put them down and for ages they didn't take it. And then one day I came home from work and I hear these like little mouse squeaks. So I checked on one of the traps and it was an adult, I assume a mum and she was in the trap. I don't have any photos, thank God. I'll have to paint the disgusting image with my words. She was in the mouse trap and the, the sort of metal bar had crushed her in the middle. So like her waist was perfectly flat. It went all the way in. And there were three little babies all just stood around watching her squeaking, not knowing what to do and she was squeaking too. And it was like, you know when you're not ready? <laughs> and I just came home from work and I was tired and I just came into this horror scene and it was so horrific. And it was like, I don't know what came over me, but it was like, she's suffering, she's in pain, I have to end it right now. So I raced over and like, without even thinking about it, I picked up sort of like, she was still in the trap and I sort of picked up her body and like the trap in one hand and her head in the other and just twisted it as fast as I could. And it was horrific. It was like the worst thing ever. Her baby scurried away and it was just like, I would rather have them running over the bed. Like it was so horrible and disgusting. And I didn't even put down another trap. I was like, okay, no, fine, whatever. Like I'll just live like this, I don't care. And then that was it. And then I moved out not long after that. Anyway. Luckily, had no other interactions with mice for a very, very long time, until today. So basically, um, I went into my cupboard maybe last week and it was just all the telltale droppings, little pee puddles. So for the first time, I Googled it. <laughs> Instead of just asking my mum, I actually looked into it myself. Don't know why I didn't do this sooner. And humane mouse traps are a thing. Why is no one talking about this? Or at least no one in my family and my immediate circle is talking about this. Maybe you all already know. Maybe you have all been doing this for years and you are rolling your eyes in disgust at me for decapitating a mouse. I'm sorry, I didn't know, but now I know. So, I got this and ugh, I got it off Amazon. I did look into other alternatives. I found, I couldn't find any secondhand ones near me and I tried to find some plastic free ones and all I could find was metal. And I was a bit worried that if there was something in there, I wouldn't have any way of knowing. I've heard that they can starve or thirst to death as well. So yeah, I was more concerned about that than I was about the plastic and it being reusable, but still not thrilled, not linking to it. Do better than me, find a better option. Anyway, so yeah, this is my little setup. In this end, I have a beautiful little dish of peanut butter and I didn't want to get it all over the um, trap so I put it in a little lid, but it got everywhere anyway. So you set it up, they're walking along, they see some beautiful peanut butter, they go in there, they step on the trap and then they're stuck inside. It doesn't hurt them, they're all the way over here. Even if they had a massive tail, it wouldn't get stuck. Amazing. And it happened tonight, I had my first little mouse. I wasn't planning on filming today. I've got my washing machine winning, it's really annoying. But I've just found this little guy and I need to get him out and set him free. It's okay, you say hi. Oh, you're gorgeous. Why are you so sweet? I don't know what to do with you because I've had this trap down for a couple of days and there's been nothing 
and now it's fireworks night and he's come in here so I don't know if you were in here because you're scared I feel a bit bad about putting you back outside into the fireworks but equally I have heard that mice can uh, die of starvation in these and that they can uh, chew their way out which wouldn't be good zero waste wise obviously you dying is not a very good option either so I think little one even though it's night time and his fireworks are going off and you're so cute I think we're gonna have to set you free now say you have to take them for a 15 minute walk away from the house or they'll just find their way back so when I set these up the mechanism to open the door pops open so easily so I was a little bit scared that I'd be walking along or like just not even out the house yet just in the kitchen it'd pop open so I've just popped you in a lovely little bag don't be scared, you are safe. I also didn't want to look like a crazy woman walking down the road with a mouse. Okay, here we go, little one. Let's take you to freedom, very gently. Okay, you can't see anything because it's night time, but I can. And I can tell you, little friend, that this is a beautiful field. And you've got some houses right over there so you're still close to civilization should you want to chew on a bit more plastic here we go come on i don't want to scare you out go on oh damn it it's freedom you've got to go hey, look okay what if i'm on this side of you there we go I can't even put into words how much of a better experience it was letting one go, seeing them bounce away like the adorable little thing they are, compared to having to decapitate one in front of their own children. Why would you choose that? <laughs> Why would you go for that option? That's horrific. And I think even if you don't have uh, the moral issue with it or like you're not squeamish or the idea of killing mouse mice doesn't bother you it's still a nicer experience for you you know like there's a there's a totally different experience to coming home and seeing a little bouncing mouse as opposed to seeing a corpse even if the trap had worked and it died that's still like a nasty corpse that you have to like scrape out of the trap and then I'm sure they are compostable but I don't know how many like industrial composters would take them. So chances are they're going to landfill, which isn't zero waste, and then they're becoming methane. Oh my God, this was amazing. Why would anyone do the killing one? Why did I do the killing one? I don't even know how to end this, I'm shook. <laughs> I'm so annoyed at myself that it took me 27 years to Google the words humane mousetrap. Why was that so hard? I already knew, because Peter made such a fuss about glue traps, I already knew they were awful. I just didn't realize it was such an easy solution. I annoy myself. <laughs> That's it. If you have a mouse, please put down a humane trap. It's much better for them and it's really cute and fun for you too. Everybody wins. If you want to subscribe, that's a really nice thing to do. And if you've already subscribed, thank you. And that's it, see you next week, bye.